Alchemists. Welcome back to our series on Elixir. Now with things kind of slowing down for live view, I thought I'd actually get back to the basics and actually talk a little bit more about um, some of the built-in but say underutilized features of uh, Elixir itself. And it's even took me a little bit of time, but I remembered how to set up a struct in uh, just playing Elixir instead of using uh, Ecto. And what I wanted to go over actually was, um, what would you call it? These are called behaviors. Now behaviors are actually used quite a lot. If you use Phoenix and you make plugs, or even if you use plug itself directly, uh, and you need to make uh, plugs, like little callbacks, those are actually using behaviors. You have to create a function called the init. You have to create another function called call. Now from those, you're actually implementing the behavior of a plug. And so I wanted to show you how to actually make your own behavior, which uh, I was actually listening to Elixir talk, I believe it was Elixir talk recently, and they were talking about behaviors and protocols and they were getting mixed up between the two. And you know, that's okay. But I really want to kind of just talk more about and actually show you how to use a um, behavior and actually how to create one. And so for instance, what I have over here is I just created a very blank um, Elixir project. Uh, it's called a work app. I couldn't come up with a good name. And I made an employee and an employee in this case just has a first name and a last name. Now, for those of you who haven't figured it out, I'm actually located somewhere in Asia. And so we have this a different style. So what I would say the Western style, which should be first name then last name when you uh, write out somebody's name, is quite different than the typical, what I would call Asian or Chinese style, which is last name, first name, or actually a better way to say it would be surname, given name. And so what I was thinking is that to kind of show you how they work is that we can make a formatter behavior and then we can have a Western style one and then we can have, say, a uh, Asian style one, this is what I'll call it just for the time being, which will change how names are formatted. So to start this, uh, I'm going to create the behavior itself. So I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna create a formatter module. Call it this one, def module work app formatter. And this is going to be the behavior. Now to create a behavior is quite simple. You just have to use the callback. Um, what do you call this? A directive, I suppose. And it's instead of using the def, right? So now you just need to say uh, format name. And this is going to take a work app employee. And we use the dot t to mention the type. And so this is using uh, basically kind of like a, the style you'd use for type specs. So it takes a work app employee type and we're gonna be returning a string. Okay. And if we run our mix, you'll see nothing happens. There's no big deal, right? Now, here's where the interesting part starts is I'm gonna make the Western formatter. And for this one, work app, employee. Now, to make this actually implement the behavior, we have to tell it what behavior to implement. It's gonna implement work app formatter. And now when I do mix run, you'll see it's gonna complain that we're actually missing a required uh, function. So what you can do is you can say define the format name function and then we will do the first name last name and then we will just output that quite simply first name, last name, and that is good enough. If we just run this, let's see, oops, sorry, I called this the wrong one, it's my fault. This one should be called uh, 
Western formatter. That's my fault. And now if you run that again, let's see. Maybe Mac wasn't working. That should work fine. Oh, sorry, I called death twice. My fault again. Apologies. So now we run this again. There we go. Everything works fine. Uh, but what you actually should do, and it's very useful, and I'll show you why, is that you get in the habit of using this impl directive, which tells it that you're actually implementing this function from here. If I run this, you'll see there's no big difference. But what you'll catch, though, is let's say that I was a little bit careless and I decided to implement, say, instead of saying format name, I'll say format employee and I'll just take something and just return an empty string just to kind of show you guys something. So now when I run this, it'll give me a warning telling me that, hey, formatter only implements this function and you said that it implemented format employee but there's no behavior there. So as you can see, it's quite useful. So th that's kind of like how you can do this. And with this, you can kind of lean back and you can see that you can say, okay, I can programmatically set my Western formatter and as long as it implements the formatter itself, you know, I could create tons of different formatters just for this format name function. Now, so that's it. That's kind of a really quick introduction to um, behaviors in Elixir and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.